Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to dive into the Long War mod upon public demand, so to speak. It's out for a while. I played the beta, did around 120 ish episodes of it uh, when it was still young and fresh and in development. But I, funnily enough, never played the final thing. So, you asked me to look into Long War of the Chosen again, and I will comply. So this run is going to be Long War of the Chosen, Legendary Iron Man difficulty, just the normal mod without any uh, shenanigans or mod gems or mod packs. First and foremost, if the uh, series is doing well, I will continue this playthrough. It is currently planned to be kind of stopping around 30 to 50 episodes, mainly because YouTube doesn't really favor super long playthroughs and uh, the viewer count kind of uh, di uh, diminishes over time. But if I do see stable numbers, I am of course going to continue this and who knows, maybe we're just going to go for a full run. So uh, for those of you who are unaware of Long War of the Chosen, it is a complete overhaul of XCOM 2. The base classes are being split into eight classes. The hero classes have been reworked. Uh, the pack size is increased to eight. And on more difficult missions, you can actually bring 10 to 12 uh, soldiers. The strategic layer has been completely reworked. A lot of uh, the quote unquote overpowered items have been uh, toned down and balanced. And generally it is a more long, more difficult and more uh, gradually complex way of playing it. I won't in this playthrough go through all of the details and explain everything in detail because I assume if you join this playthrough that you have a general understanding of Long War of the Chosen but I equally will also not glance over it so I'll try to find a happy medium where people that know the mod are fine as well as people who are completely new to it. So we're doing legendary, uh, let's take a look at the advanced options. Mm, I want to start with the Templar because I want to see the Templar um, rework. Let's do Grim Horizon because permanent dark events are fun. I know that that is ultra hard uh, in Long War and not in, uh, in Courage, but you know me, so it is what it is. No hand holding, no dis uh, we're disabling Long War tutorial. Disable the Chosen? No, 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 we want the Chosen. Uh, baby Chosen? No. Enables resists orders for XCOM. Oh, okay. So normally we would play without resistance orders. Hmm. Well, we're going to take it without resistance orders. Oh, that would be so good. Allow us XCOM soldiers to purchase multiple class abilities at the same rank with AP. Hmm. That was always one of the things that I hated about uh, Long War. Not so much kind of the forced decision making, but sometimes you just had a lot of AP and you wanted to get multiple class abilities. Here's the deal how I will do it. I will do it for the Prime Team. We enable that and I'll do it for the Prime Team, but only for the Prime Team to have a couple of super soldiers and see how good it is and we'll ignore that ability for the rest of uh, the pack. So, of course, we're enabling Iron Man. Uh, we're going to go with integrated content and we are joining. Let's go, boys. All right, we landed, guys. Time to take a look at our squad. So we got Johnny Five with John McMullen. I like that. We got Russ. As Templar we got Hawkbite. Chef Kiss for you. We got Sonar. We got Mike the Public Bravo, we got Uncle Mover, and we got Jaranks. There is no good run without Jaranks. Plus we got I-85 who got drafted as well. Cool. Time for us to scout ahead and see what we're dealing with. Seems like we need to take some high ground. Solid copy. Got it. Stepping off. Good. 
those who have seen more than one run uh, that I've done will know that I'm a sucker for high ground. The, 20 plus, uh, the plus 20 to hit is just okay. too good to pass by. Let's do this. Let's push aggressively forward. Solid copy. Roger that. Full cover here. Uh, this is dangerous, might reveal something, uh, so we're just going to stay here for now. I need a sound cue first to see where the enemy is at. Okay, enemy is in that train station area. Haven't heard anything particular, which is not a good or a bad sign, it just means it's not a particular enemy. Let's scout it out and see if we're okay. Yep, we are. Location confirmed. Get it covered. Move, move, move. Good to go. Running. Onward. Double time. Okay. What was that? We got a nice position here, and Edwin is right over here. So a hit point bar, which tells me Edwin is there. Good to go. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Good, let's hope that they are going to move a bit closer to us. Oh yeah. Cool. Overwatch. 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 Overwatch and let's do Overwatch. On my way. Grenade. Very nice grenade. Good, the first pack uh, with concealment was rather uneventful. Let's get some loot. Advanced scope, I like to see that. Frontline is in an okay position. Let's move a bit closer here. And closer there. Reloading, always reload. I'm seeing so many playthroughs or missions where people forget to reload. Okay, let's make our way over here. Cautiously. Okay, leaving the high ground is a big decision, not to be taken lightly. The high ground is the holy ground, always stay up there. 
That sounds like a sector. another pack. Ooh, not good. Well, for starters, let's open this here. 85 flops a grenade. Uh, we, I, I already know there are more enemies back uh, there. Okay, finally overwatch removed. I'm gonna overtake high ground again. And his promotion. Ranks moves up. Overwatch, overwatch, overwatch. We're not going to take anything here. All I do is go for cover. Okay, the next pack is right there. They know it, we know it, everybody knows it. Tired of waiting around. Moving on target location. Solid copy. Come get some. Ready. Reload overwatch. Overwatch, reload Overwatch. I'm sacrificing the loot because I want a better engagement. And there they come. Pushing in like it's no man's business. Loot expired, stairs destroyed. Let's get that sentry. I see destroyed uh, the cover, and unfortunately, not a kill for Hawkbite, but okay. That can happen. Taking high ground here. Ready to engage. There we go. Whoop, Two down. Grenade out. Should be a kill. Area Lost a bit of loot, but uh, elsewise, good start. Could have moved in and actually tried to shoot at him first. 
Okay, we got plenty of promotions and Hogbite does have a couple of good uh, soldiers compatibility. So many people like to play with the I am the commander mod because uh, then you can choose essentially what your first uh, soldiers are going to be. But we're going to play it just like it was intended to. So Grenadier for Sonar. That is not bad. Can already create a bond with uh, Uncle Nuber. Why not? Russ is going to be our sniper. Let's hope that you have decent aim. Else is going to be aim embarrassing. Got an assault. Uh, that's going to be fun. Johnny Five is going to be our Phantom Shinobi. Mike the Public Bravo as a specialist. Uncle Nuber lights them up as the main infantry ranger. And finally we got the technician, the man, Jeranks. Event scope, that is great. And we got a lot of things to figure out. Let's start first things first and take a look. So, assault, a um, little bit, uh, well, average fast or oh, good hit points, that's not bad. Uh, we got a decent dodge, that is good as well. So that's actually a good setup. Shinobi. Movement, lower hit points, that's fine as well, Shinobi can have, uh, the stats of Shinobi are whatever, uh, will be our scout in most of the cases anyways. Sharpshooter, um, we got 68, well that's already including the bonus, so didn't necessarily have a very high aim, but not terrible either, so that's okay. Hawkbite is anyways perfect in all stats. Um, then we got Grenadier. We need movement on them, so that's okay. Aim is also okay, not fantastic. Specialist, really good aim. Low hit points, uh, that is not good for a specialist. We will need to play him from the background. Three health sucks. Oh, it's never great. And then we got Ranger. 72 aim. That is good. And our Technician with a lot of movement. That's good as well. So could have been much worse to be honest. So let's take a good look at a couple of other highlights. We got a couple of 70 aim rookies. Those are Prime Snipers and uh, Prime uh, Rangers. So, and gunners. We actually don't have a gunner in our team here, do we? Yeah, that's the only class that hasn't uh, shown up. Um, in terms of the prime team, in terms of the prime team, if I had to kick one class out, it's potentially going to be the technician. Nothing against them, they are great. But I would take a gunner over a technician. So maybe Jerenx is going to be B team. I know uh, sucks, but he can lead the B team, so it's not a problem. In terms of hacking, um, there are a couple of good ones. This here, Hiro Hiroki, for instance, but also uh, a fantastic has fantastic aim. This is good as well. This here could be a good specialist. A couple of other good specialists. In terms of mental stats, so this is willpower. Um, I think in the newest version, what you need to do is you need to ha look at combat intelligence because that also now determines their, their psi ability. So bubble has very high. 
that's a change within a long war of the chosen toxic is very high diva is very high okay so uh, bubble too good to aim to not uh, let him be a sniper toxic really good uh, that is uh, toxic is a perfect um, a perfect psionic character character info first name psi just so that when I'm doing the training it doesn't I does I do not mess it up and divat also good hit points actually very nice dodge that could be a fantastic psi warrior okay so uh, that at least uh, has clarified the the different characters so let's do the color coding assaults as always are coming in as red shinobis always came in as orange you can already get uh, used to that want to make sure that we keep consistent color schemes then as a sharpshooter we're going to go with uh, Snow White. Russ, please make us proud. 68 for Sharpshooter is not perfect, but I'll, I'll have trust in you. Mike typically was a gunner, I think the last time that I played with him. He has that Crocodile Dundee look that I like. He's now going to be our specialist. We got a Ranger. Uncle Nuber with that nice little face hat. Rangers come in clutch and blue. Good. And technicians for starters. Drinks, how are you even looking? Like dress yourself. Get uh, some proper gear and brown was gunner what did i do for oh yeah it was uh, the sil uh, silver gray there we go i remember now fantastic good technician Oh, that's nice. There is also color coding here. Blue means very high uh, intelligence for that. Unfortunately for the rookies, that doesn't work. Cool, that's new. At least I have never seen it. Wow, my eardrums just exploded. Good, we're starting with weapons. Yeah, we're not going to do any anything yet. I would like to start with a resistance ring as the first building. We don't have an engineer, so that's all we can do. GTS will be the second. Yeah, let's start with the black market. Sure, why not? remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources it's going to take some time though we've got a lot of ground to cover this new templar operative may be a bit unique but so far everything seems central even though it's long war we still play by our rules and we agreed that you shut up right it might be worth sticking around please for a while as well as contacting geist their leader my people understand i greet you as an ally facing a shared enemy my followers seek balance with the psionic forces that flow through the earth and all its inhabitants. Good. 
Let's manage the haven here. So for now, we're just putting Jarenks in. He will, he will become better over time. I like everything on Intel. That's a good start. That way we can uh, find missions more efficiently. Good, we can sell a couple of items. Troopers, uh, I don't want to sell them at all. Drone Rex for 10, that is uniquely good. Going to get a lot more drones, so I'll just take the 10 for now. And we could buy a couple of things for supplies here. Emergency life support, uh, normal defense is great. A gunner for 50 supplies, no thank you, but I th well, 105 supplies is a lot for an engineer. Let's wait uh, for the missions. More missions with uh, engineers and uh, scientists will spawn for not immediately buying it. And I need the supplies for a lot of stuff. Good, Templar to heal faster, new. We're just producing more intel. All right, so a couple of things here. Resistance personnel, rookie, and resistance personnel, seven days, large map. Commander, we're going to win this war. We need to take every chance we get to fight back. We'll have to be ready to engage the enemy during unpredictable situations, which require special planning and preparation. But before we do anything here, first of all, thank you, and let's um, put the Dragoons in here. That's the A-team. And I want a different logo, something that looks ultra cool. Oh yeah, that, that is pretty awesome. Yeah, oh yeah. I like that. Um, problem is, uh, we're going to only uh, infiltrate up to six, uh, 67% with that, which means a couple of you guys will need to stay out for now. So, what's going to be? We don't need two times cover removal, which means you're out. Uh, 80%. Um, next up, frontline support, midfield support, cover removal, damage, damage, I think I could put uh, the ranger into a different uh, team, good, so Let's take a look. For starters, oh no, or are you going to give you Kevlar? Traditional sword, SMG. Could take a pistol, but not going to do that. Ceramic plating is good. Frag grenade, not necessarily needed. Good, that's already 97%, I like that. In terms of further equipment, let's first of all equip everybody and then we're going to see what the end result of it is going to be. Definitely a handgun, we don't need uh, grenades on you.
Good, Templar. I like the idea of an auto pistol. Don't need a flash. Well, we might need a flashbang. Shouldn't say that. But we don't need a fresh wing on every single uh, character. Good. Old world assault rifle. Exactly what we need. No pistol. Getting as close to 14, I don't want to drop below 12 mobility. But I think 12 is still fine. Could go with a shotgun. I don't think that is needed. We're rather going with an SMG on you. Medkit, flashbang. Good. Sonar could go in with a shotgun. Does have um, plenty of grenades. I like that. Okay, looks like in the future I'm not going to do that in detail because it takes really a lot of uh, time. Uh, looks like we just need to tweak that a tiny bit more, up to 100%. There we go, now it is 100%. It's just barely under 100% and that means we're just going to fight against 7 to 9 enemies. In War of the Chosen they have not only increased the numbers now of the enemies but also gave them a big fat uh, boost. Which is a problem. Uh, they get better aim, better stats overall and uh, yeah, they are just overall more tough. So A team goes on to this mission starts the infiltration fantastic continue the outcome of this research can only further our advances commander okay um don't have the alien alloys here experimental weapons would be fine I think for expansion reasons this is a no-brainer. Immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Hello, Commander. Still need proving grounds in order to build any of uh, the weapon modifications. Commander, as the resistance continues to grow. Six days, that's perfect. Intel and an Intel package. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move. Good, I'll figure that out real quick. Good, got the team loaded up. I also use the advanced scope on an assault rifle as well as the advanced stock. That way, we do have a bit uh, more f uh, flexibility and we'll find more loot. So, let's start that infiltration here as well. Good, pretty sure there is going to be yet another mission coming up. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. 
Okay, this here will give us the option for PCSs, and that's a good start. Resistance radio isn't bad either, so that we can um, actually build towers. So let's start with the, with the easy options. We've collected sufficient intel to make contact. We'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. You know what? It, it pains me to do that, but... Market is open. Let's buy that engineer. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, Completely out of supplies, out. which is never great. We should keep looking for more recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. Commander, so far I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. If we clean this stuff out, we could probably use this space for a new facility. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff. Yeah, let's get the continent and potentially continent bonus later. Scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Commander. Using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time Good. To scan for their that will not be able to uh, be postponed anymore, so we're going to take uh, that mission next. We do have uh, the second mission here, uh, intel intel package, that's great as well. Plus, yeah, the intel package, we can uh, get more intel out of that. So very soon we need to do that as well. Over infiltrating, we get to 117%. I think 115 is another break point. I might be wrong, 100 definitely is. Then 150, 120, some, somewhere around there. Uh, so I'll just let them continue infiltrate. There is no need to pull them out now. And the rookies might get a promotion, but Oh, that is going to happen in the next episode. If you are as excited as I am about Long War of the Chosen, then leave a comment and a like down below. Really pump this video up and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys.